Well, good morning, Jack McGrath from BankingTrader.com. Market has uh, just chopped around all morning. It, we keep, walked in this morning, we were better bid, and then we have slowly uh, come down to retest the lows overnight. And we just we just had a nice little bounce. The 10-year, 22 was uh, the low so far, and it was uh, yesterday's low as well down there. So the market is finding some support at these levels. Now, the question is, are we gonna be back in to the same type of trade we've seen for the last month, where this is the lower end of the range, and it's a buying opportunity, and we trade back to the upper end of the range, or are we gonna finally get some follow through to the downside? And so far, you know, you've gotta, uh, I think you got to pay attention to where the market closes. Yesterday we closed on the absolute lows of the day and normally when that happens you see some downside follow through uh, to make a new low but uh, this morning we walked in and the market's better. Today we have not made new lows yet. 72 for instance in the uh, red June contract is a, is a support level and I think you need to get back below there before you uh, try to press this market for the next leg down. Uh, on the 50% range in red June today, uh, keep an eye on the 74, 74 and a half area. You start to get back above there, you're probably gonna trade back up a few basis points. Below 72, like I said, you could probably press the market again. Front end, you know, a little softer, but still holds in pretty well. I think that uh, the way that the year spreads look to me, you, you would look to uh, buy some kind of dip in like sept or red June spread, looking for the next leg up. It looks looks like that's that's going to be the trade where you're going to widen some of these spreads out some more. So keep an eye on that. I did send the chart out this morning. In the options, Euro dollar options, I've seen some pretty decent plays go through today. Uh, one that was interesting is the March 8597 strangle. Paper paid a half a basis point for 10,000. One of two things, they think something is going to happen going forward and we're going to see some volatility in the front end again, or it's a cover. Cabinet for both of those. Your cost is $12.50, pretty cheap, given the amount of time that we have left. Um, I would not sell something like that for a half a basis point. It's, uh, the risk reward is is to own own the strangle. Uh, we have seen some put buying uh, in the short June contract that's off of red June. The uh, 75 80 85 put fly traded for four and a half for good size five to ten thousand and the 80 85 put spread traded for four for good size and open interest yesterday in the short June 80 puts up a little over 20,000 so you are seeing increases in put buying and open interest in some of these strikes uh, what you want to um, you know, keep an eye on that 72 level in red June and the 10 year also. Right around 119.25 is, I think, where the, the trend line support comes in. We eat through it yesterday, closed above it. We've been through it so far this morning, now we're back above it. So I think what you're looking for is some kind of close, weak closes below some of these trend lines to form an objective. Uh, you know, quite a bit lower. That red June could trade all the way back down into the the, the low 50s, and it, you know that's a pretty good move. But it really hasn't changed any anything going forward. A few things that you got to pay attention to. Next week we get a lot of supply. You get 99 billion uh, uh, in treasuries being issued next week. And if you add in the treasury bills, you get 156 billion being issued again next week. You have the FOMC meeting, which rhetoric will be important uh, after the meeting, I think, uh, to see if there's any change in view from the Fed. 
and uh, of course this weekend the big event uh, Bears Packers and that's the main focus I think that is going uh, going to be uh, the rest of this day and going into the weekend so have a nice weekend go Bears thank you